Hey, you guys are. It is Sunday morning. We're in Montana, and it's kind of a special day. We're three months on the road. How awesome is this? So, we figured we'd do a quick video. My three months on the road, little updates, tell you what's going on, and it's been pretty spectacular. So far, I'm doing pretty damn good. We got our Jeep, it's still going great. We put, in the last three months, we put about three, uh, about 9,000 miles on her. So, my baby's still going good here. So, <laughs> I think I put over a thousand miles of just off-road riding too. Yeah, let's get that sun there. So, it's been pretty cool. So, let me go through a couple things. So, since I started three months ago, we've been through 19 states. That's pretty damn cool. So we've been through New Jersey, New York, Pennsylvania, Ohio, Indiana, Illinois, Missouri, Kansas, Colorado, New Mexico, Arizona, Utah, Nevada, California, Oregon, Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, and South Dakota. Wow, we've done a lot so far. And it was only three months so far on the road. And we got a lot more to explore. I tell you, I was a little skeptical if I'm going to be happy out here living just in the Jeep in this small, confined little space in there. And I got to tell you, I'm the happiest I've ever been. It forces me to be outside all day, cook outside, everything. And all I do really is sleep in the Jeep. That's the only time I'm inside of it and when I'm driving. So it forces me outside, which I have no problems with. I got a little little uh, canopy over it just in case it rains and gives me a little shade from the sun when it gets hot but overall I'm pretty happy with this I mean I thought about the van because there's a lot of people doing what I'm doing but they got a nice van that has everything inside of it or pull along trailer the teardrops when they have a lot of convenience inside and they can cook inside bathroom inside but with my Jeep, I'm really liking this a lot better because it gives me more freedom. I feel more free with this thing because I can go places where nobody else can go. Probably because I got the four-wheel drive and I'm going back in these woods. I come across places that are so beautiful that people just don't see. The normal person just driving their RVs and camping around, traveling. They'll never see a lot of this stuff I've seen. And I can get into campgrounds and spots where nobody is and... I'm always guaranteed to get a place to sleep for the night. So, that's one of the reasons I love this thing. And it's just traveling and go wherever I want to go. I don't think I've spent more than four days in one spot yet. So I get hyper and I want to keep going and find, finding new adventures. So right now, we're in Montana. We're in the flatlands of Montana, the grasslands. We're in a wildlife reserve, which allows camping. But this is flat lot of grass we got a couple ponds we're going to explore in a bit so this is different than you would expect from Montana but so far from here now with another hour drive we head into the Flathead Mountains again we're doing the east side of it and we're going to do some exploring back there try to find some of the remote little small streams and get a lot more fly fishing in all party adventure one of the other things I like about living on the road though, it's like this spot here, there's nobody around. I'm all by myself. Which sometimes it's nice. In a lot of places I hit, there's nobody. Then there's times I hit, we'll get a lot of people around. Everybody's always so nice and friendly. And everybody's just chatting, sitting around, having a couple beers and having a good time. So you have a little bit of both, which kind of, it's a nice balance there. So, on my journey is what I had to do since I really don't have an address. So three months ago, you know, I quit my job, I retired, sold everything I had, 
which was pretty hard to do it was pretty awesome and we hit the road and one thing I did find is man you are a slave to your junk that's probably one of the reasons why a lot of people don't do this because they got so much junk they got the house just full of junk and let me get out of this uh, wind a little bit so a lot of people don't do this because well they're afraid or they just have too much junk they don't know what to do with it but I sold everything and threw everything out it was tough but I am so happy I did it I feel so free not worrying about anything and everything I own is in my little Jeep here this is pretty awesome so the other thing what I did had to do since I don't have an address we drove down to uh, South Dakota and we became a resident of South Dakota now so I got a licensed place from South Dakota and a license so I'm legal so I have this uh, what's it called mailbox American mailbox so I've established me as an address there and all my mail will go there so wherever I'm at somewhere I can just email them and they'll send me all my mail to to a post to a um, US post uh, postal service place and I can get my mail if I need it so very cool so things are working out I gotta say I learned a lot the last three months so if anybody there got any questions please put them down in the comments below we'd love to hear them and uh hopefully we can get you guys on the road too so my future plans is uh, we're gonna probably hang out in montana here for another three weeks maybe maybe more i'm not sure maybe head into idaho a little bit do some more fishing there and then right after labor day and everybody goes back to school and goes back to work we're gonna hit some of the more bigger parks down in Utah, go to Zion. I definitely wanna hike in yeah, Angel's Landing, you know, a lot of that stuff there. But I want all the crowds to get down so I don't have to go all the crazy people where you can't even enjoy anything because it's just so many people around. So we got a lot planned, we got a lot coming up. So stay tuned. So I think that's all we covered today. Looks like you have any questions, just put them down in the comments below. So I'm John, I'm 64, I'm over the hill, no mountain today, but we're going over a mountain today sometime. So don't forget, never stop listening to rock and roll, never stop walking, and we'll catch you guys a little later. And don't forget, if you're new and you're watching, want to join my adventures, smash that subscribe button, hit that like button, come along on my journey, we're having a lot of fun. We'll catch you guys later, bye bye.